There is two big reasons why AMC stock is down almost 5% today, and they are very obvious. So let's go over those and give you guys an intraday update where we do currently sit as far as short interest, technical analysis, go over the charts, and talk about the stock O tracker data and what this could mean because we still do have a lot of options that are in the money. So drop that like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, all of that good stuff, and let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. So first things first, let's just talk about why AMC stock is down so much right now. And it's not a lot, obviously. We're only down 4.25% as of right now. But it is simply due to this bombing that happened at the airport in Afghanistan. And if you guys don't think that is the case, it is 100% the case. You guys can see the overall markets are down about 0.3%. But if you just look at my personal portfolio, guys, everything started dropping once this bombing did come out. We're starting to see a little bounce right here, but even look at the portfolio for the day. You can see once this news about the bombing did come out, everything took a nosedive. And I mean literally everything. Now, like I said, we're starting to see that bounce, but that is a big reason why we did start to sell off so much today. But on the other hand, we are seeing Fed Bullard says the Fed needs to get going on taper on taper may need to get aggressive to stop inflation and all of the the different feds have uh, quite a lot of them have actually spoken already today i believe three of them were actually very bearish talking about we need to taper starting in september so that is also another big reason but if you guys aren't aware of this we do have jackson hole uh, w which is basically all of the big leaders of different countries federal reserves all meet together and discuss fed policies what they plan to do and a lot of people are thinking that that a taper talk is going to be announced or some period is going to be announced where they will start tapering and that is tomorrow so that is another big reason that is the multi-day event that may obviously have an implication for tomorrow as well but in my personal opinion amc will probably be green tomorrow that is kind of what i have been indicating too now thursdays just tend to be very red overall it's our worst day out of the whole entire week so it's not very surprising we are down today because obviously today is thursday and in my personal opinion we are down so much on thursdays because the hedgies the market makers whoever is taking the back end of all of these calls they are trying to push them out of the money on thursday so they don't have to hedge them on Friday makes a lot of sense, right? I think that's why Thursday is usually a very red day. But as far as the technicals are concerned, we are on the four hour candlestick chart, guys. We are, yes, uh, coming to back down to these lower end ranges. But considering this big green candle we did have just two days ago, a positive over 20% day, we're still far from where we were before we did see that really good day when we were at about $38. So we're still at $42. 55 cents as we do currently speak $40 is going to be a support level and then also the 200 day moving average at $38.71 is also going to be a solid support level and we do see this 50 day moving average which is starting to climb up so if this 50 day moving average crosses above this 200 day moving average that is going to be a golden cross that is going to be a very positive bullish technical so definitely looking good right there. It, like I said, as far as potential downside, you're looking at $40 and then the 200-day moving average before we do get a solid bounce. But that's not really what I expect to happen because I think tomorrow is going to be a green day. Just like we seen last Friday was a positive almost 2% day on AMC stock. So I think it's going to be good. Now right here, we can go either way. This could go 50-50. We could see a, a really strong bounce or we could see this breakdown to about $40. I like to think there's going to be a bounce, but we have to get back up to this little consolidation range that we did see at about $45, even $44 before we obviously do get that breakout past that. So that is really what it is looking like. That is what I expect. Let's check the volume so far for the day. We're at 57,247,000 and we're only about two hours into market open right now. So it's definitely going to be an above average volume day, typically because our volume is only in between about 50 and 80 million so it's going to be an above average volume day but it's probably going to be less volume than we have seen over the past two days 
being two days ago, we did go up 20% at 225 million for volume. Yesterday at 208 million for volume. So today is probably going to be around 150 million for volume, if I were to imagine. So that's really what all what I expect from the technicals. It could go either way here. Just know your downside, know your potential upside, and don't have any trades that will catch you in the middle or catch you off guard. Now let's talk about the stock o tracker data, guys. Let's refresh the page. And we do have in the money calls at 84,051. So definitely a large amount still controls about 8.4 million shares that will have to be hedged for coming on Friday. But keep in mind, depending on the premium that people are paying for, let's say this $44 strike, or let's just say the at the money's the $42 strikes, right? If you're buying these for $177, the market makers, they actually don't, they actually won't go negative on these, these these plays until you do go over the break even which would be this amount you're paying $177 added to uh, 42 so that would be uh, $43.77 before they would really have to hedge these options so you have to factor in the actual premium that is being paid since we have had this rally the premiums are a little bit higher so they won't have to do a lot of hedging until at least tomorrow or at least or, or until these calls go very deep into the money. Probably the $40 strikes they're doing some hedging on uh, right now, or they have been doing some hedging on, definitely will be hedged for as long as we could stay above $40. And that is where you do have 22000 uh, 22,000 for open interest that controls 2.2 million shares. So definitely you're going to see some level of buying going in from the option chain. And that'll more than likely happen tomorrow. Forty-five and forty-six dollars strike. You're seeing twelve thousand open interest on both of those, and then at the fifty, you're seeing twenty-eight thousand three hundred and fifty for open interest. Now it is possible to go to fifty dollars by tomorrow. That would be a move of about twenty percent. So it is possible. It's probably uh, not as possible if we do see a red day today depending how deeply in the red we do go for today that's really going to be the key here is how red do we close for the day like i've been talking about in all of these videos now you guys pretty much know the deal with that we're going to see a lot of hedging that is going on but let's talk about the ortex data because we are seeing this short interest going up yet again today this does lead to another short attack that we are seeing. We're seeing the short interest percentage of free flow. That is up uh, about almost half a percent from what we did see in yesterday's video. So current short interest percentage of free flow is at 17.24%. Current shares that are sold short of 88.19 million. So both of these numbers, a very, very large amount. Do not underestimate that. But considering the naked shorting and the synthetic short positions, the actual short interest is probably in the neighborhood of 40 to 80% in my personal opinion, like I've indicated many, many times on this channel. So having a legal short interest of 17, uh, 17 and a quarter and having 88.19 million shares that are sold short, legally, definitely looking very, very positive for a short squeeze. Share util utilization is at 90.95% going up a little bit, but staying relatively flat. So there still is a lot of shares that can be sold short. Uh, cost of borrow staying the same. Days to cover staying the exact same. Uh, free flow on loan at 20.71 going up a little bit seven days ago at 20.65. So you want to see the free flow on loan going up. These are shares that have actually went to uh, hedge funds brokerage accounts, but they have not actually sold them short yet. They can sell them short or they can return them, which you'd see right here, return shares. And then obviously the borrowed shares, which would be them borrowing from the utilization. So in my personal opinion, I want to see the free flow on loan going up to see the short interest going up. I also want to see the share utilization staying the same or actually going down. So there's more shares and abundance of shares that can be sold short. It's too tempting for hedge funds to not sell a stock short when there is so many shares in your face that you can sell short. So that is all for this intraday update. We'll be back later on with more videos and more updates, giving you guys all the information you guys need to know. So drop that like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, all of that good stuff. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think about Jackson Hole, what you think about this bombing. What do you think? Is it going to be a lasting event? Some people are talking we're going back to war. That'll be really bad for the markets. But let me know your guys' opinion on this, how it affects AMC. 
down below in the comment section. Also, check out the three links linked down below in the description. There's a link for the buy and sell alerts. We have been killing it over there, hitting massive, massive trades. Also, there's a link for a free Discord chat, obviously, for AMC Stock. There's also a link for public. You guys already know the deal with that. Get up to $70 in your choice free stock. It only takes about three minutes time to receive that free stock. No need to link a bank account or deposit a single dollar as well. So with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.